After a year's absence, the Amstel Gold Race in its 55th edition was back, with a shortened course on a new parkour. 12 laps of 16.9 kilometers, including the climbs of the Gulemaberg, the Bemlerberg, and the Kauberg, before a shortened final lap, omitting the Kauberg, but finishing as normal in Berg M to Blight. 38 climbs over this distance meant an intense race. 10 riders went away early on and enjoyed a lead of around four minutes. The bunch being led by the Koenig Quickstep, Movistar and Jumbo Visma. But we had a guest en route. Tom de Moulin taking a break from the sport. Lives locally in Maastricht. Good to see him out on the route. But early on, there was a crash. With around 53 k's to go, there was a crash that took down Bob Jungle's Sander Army and Maury Van Sevenant, amongst others. And this was the point that the racing really started to hot up. Several moves going clear. Tosh van der Sand here. Also with Florian Seneschal, Sonny Colbrelli, and also in the mix there, Dylan van Baal. But the chase was on. Bora Hansgrohe had missed it, as had the Israel Startup Nation. And eventually, the break that had dominated the day were caught. But the bunch were chasing hard behind, being led by Primo Roglic. Also there, Alejandro Valverde and Tom Pidcock, who took victory in Grabansa Pile. Loic Vliegen was the sole leader. He'd been out in front all day long, the final survivor from that breakaway. But with 26 k's to go, the pace was very high behind. We had another attack at Ida Schelling, went clear for Bora Hansgrohe, catching two of the previous riders from the breakaway. But his tenure out in front was not to last too long. The final ascent of the Kauberg saw problems for Primoz Roglic, who suffered a mechanical at the most inopportune moment. But there were attacks up front from Julien Alaphilippe, who went clear, taking with him Tom Pidcock, Michael Matthews and Wout Van Aert. But he faded over the top of the climb and an elite group of riders went clear, including three from the Ineos Grenadiers. Kwiatkowski, Carapaz were there, Shackman, Michael Matthews also in the mix. But look at the damage behind. The last rider across to this group was Alejandro Valverde, only a week away from his 41st birthday. Former winner Michal Kwiatkowski then went clear. But meanwhile, Alaphilippe was dropping back, starting to struggle under the load of this difficult race. Then Tom Pidcock went clear as soon as Kwiatkowski was caught. Tom Pidcock surged clear in the form of his life at the moment. And he drew with him Wout van Aert and also Max Schackman. And the three were soon to open up a lead that would take them into the finish. The chase behind being led by the Israel startup nation in a bunch that uh, was reduced to only around 40 riders. With one kilometer to go, coming into the finish, it was Tom Peacock who led things. Shackman there in second position. And with only just under 200 meters to go, it was Wout Van Aert who opened up the sprint. Surging clear, opening up a small gap on Tom Peacock. Shackman was distanced with about 75 meters to go. Peacock tried to come round the Dutchman, lunged at the line. So close, difficult to call. The bunch sprint being led home there by Michael Matthews. But in the end, the photo finished revealed that it was Wout van Aert who took the win. But just look how close that was. An absolutely nail-biting, scintillating finale there. It was that close. So eventually, it was delight for Wout van Aert. Look at the smile on his face. After disappointment in Brabantse Pile, it was victory in Amstel Gold. Van Aert takes the win ahead of Pidcock, Shackman, Matthews, Valverde, Alaphilippe, Spragli, Mohoric, Kwiatkowski and Tosh van der Sande, rounding out the top 10. It was fist bumps on the podium and flowers again. Two classic wins this year to Wout van Aert to add to his win at Gent of Wevelgem and another absolutely vintage edition of the Amstel Gold Race. Next up, Flesh Wallon and Liège, Baston Liège.